We are seeing some encouraging news when it comes to Florida's COVID-19 numbers. In recent weeks, new cases have been gradually trending down. It's the same picture nationwide. Fox 13's Haley Hines is live in Tampa with insight on what's driving the numbers and what needs to happen to keep them down. Haley? Well, Kelly, we made it past the predicted post-holiday surge. Lower case numbers are the first glimmer of hope, but doctors are paying close attention to two other key indicators, hospitalizations and deaths associated with the virus. They're down too, but not low enough for any of us to let our guards down. Monday, Florida Department of Health reported 3,787 new COVID-19 cases. It follows a steady decline from February 1st when we saw more than 10,000. The decline is real. The exact numbers are probably not as helpful because what we've seen is um, a decrease in testing. And so we may not be seeing all the cases that are out there. But what public health expert Dr. Marissa Levine says we are seeing is a drop in hospitalizations and deaths associated with COVID-19, key indicators of what's really going on. These charts also show emergency visits dropping since the start of 2021. I would caution everybody that we're still at pretty high levels uh, of mm -hmm. disease in the community and even hospitalization. We still see significant number of deaths from COVID. While addressing vaccine scams, Attorney General Ashley Moody said Florida is turning the corner with vaccinations, outpacing infections. This is great news, but it would be a mistake to let your guard down now. So far, nearly 2.4 million Floridians have gotten their first dose. 1.1 million have both. In Florida, we're only vaccinated about 11 percent, maybe a little bit more of our population. So. Uh, none of us think that that alone is the key driver. But with Florida leading the nation with 379 COVID cases caused by the UK variant, the next few weeks will be critical in seeing if this decline continues following Super Bowl celebrations. And unfortunately, we're st still seeing pretty high numbers. These numbers look good now, but they wouldn't look good if we were talking about uh, the uh, end of the spring, early summer before that second uh, big wave. Though there are a lot of factors at play here, bottom line, Dr. Levine says we are on the de decline. That is good news, and we can keep that decline going. It will just require us to continue doing what we're doing, continue doing our part, both individually and collectively. Kelly. We hope those numbers keep going down. Haley Hines reporting tonight. Thank you so much, Haley.